How did I start this last time? Happy New Year! What's going on, guys? My name is Jack, Jack the Bus. I should know be whatever you want to call me. Welcome to Deer 2022. Now, if you are not familiar, last year on January 1st, I did a Deer 2021 where I sort of outlined my thoughts on the year, uh, on the past year, the goals I had in mind, and sort of my current mental state. So I invite you in uh, if you're if you're curious about all of that because I don't talk about it a ton in terms of just my regular videos. So uh, yeah, once again, happy new year. I'm back. I took a little bit of a break. I took uh, about a week off in terms of uploading to sort of reset my mental. I, I don't, I tend to not overwork, but work to the point where I don't focus on any of that, where if I'm I'm feeling, uh, you know, burnt out or anything, I don't notice it until it's too late. So I had to take some some measures and, and just kind of relax for a bit. And I think it was a good time because, again, it's the end of the year. Things are starting to wind down after all the holidays. We have New Year's and then boom, we're into 2022. So welcome to the video. Uh, I want to start off by thanking you for such an amazing year in an absolutely life changing year as if last year wasn't this definitely was because last year was sort of my my venture out into the real world because i had moved out gone content full time and was sort of sort of uh finding my way in terms of youtube still because i never you, there's always more to learn about it all and going full time is a different sort of monster in terms of tackling all the all the problems challenges that you face so Again, life-changing year for a number of reasons, and one of those main ones being the non-reaction channel, Jack the Bus. At this time last year, I had maybe, like, focused a tiny bit on it, but not at all. I, I've had the non-reaction channel far longer than I've had iShinobi, and focusing on it has made my mental uh, 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 miles better. It's, it's given me this creative fulfillment, and it was one of the goals I outlined in Dear 2021. Um, was to have more creative fulfillment because reactions have never been my end goal. My end goal has always been just to make content that I want to make that you guys want to watch. That's why con that's why reaction videos aren't going anywhere. I still adore making those. I still love it. I still love connecting with you guys on their new shows. That's why we're starting One Piece and Hunter x Hunter this week. To kick off 2022, we're starting two gigantic anime that I couldn't be more excited about. So we have grown the, the I believe, Jack the Bus from... 40 or 50,000 subscribers up to 175,000. My goal that I outlined in 2021 was 100k on Jack the Bus, and we absolutely smashed it. We smashed every goal, in fact, that I set out in the 2021 video. We passed 150k on Aishinobi. Oh my god. We passed 150k on Aishinobi, uh, six uploads a week on Aishinobi mostly, two uploads a week on Jack the Bus, and three streams a week. So I, I think we've absolutely obliterated it on the content side of things, and I don't want to slow down anytime soon, which is why I took the little bit of a break. Um, in fact, I will take a little bit of a, a, a second here to give you guys a time capsule. So this time back in January, I had moved out slash gone full time uh, a few months before, I believe three or four months before. We were only 38 episodes in the Boruto. Now we are basically caught up. Uh, AOT season four was premiering, which is about to start up again next weekend. Very excited about that. And I had barely ventured into the Jack the Bus stuff. So I've really come full circle in terms of connecting that goal and making that happen. And I couldn't have done it without you guys because the support on that channel, on the non-reaction channel, has been immaculate. It's it's sur So I should be surpassed it. And now it's surpassed I Shinobi. And we're just going to keep on climbing, baby, because I'm still loving what I do. So with that being said, I wanted to talk a bit more about sort of my mental and whatnot and how I felt about YouTube at this time. I don't want this video to be as long as the first because I as the one last year, because I felt like I kind of dragged on a bit, but I still want to explain myself. So we found immense success in Jack the Bus, and I couldn't be more happy about that. I literally have editors that I pay part-time and full-time because there's so much content that I want to push out constantly and with that does come a little bit of repercussions in terms of disconnect from content um, I've experienced a little bit of frustrations in terms of um, I guess audiences asking for things and I know you guys always want to see something in particular from the channel not all of you but some and I felt frustrations with that and I want to be honest about that um, I think the main one, the one I've dealt with on iShinobi before is one that I've kind of grown used to is just, Jack, can you react to this? Jack, can you react to this? Which it is what it is. I get a thousand recommendations for anime every single day. So you aren't alone. And if you do want to recommend me something, it is what it is. I'll, I'll listen to it. But listen, if you're recommending me something, I have probably been told it. And I do have a list. 
if you want to follow my analyst, it's like analysts.com slash I should know me or whatever. I use analysts to, to track all that. Um, with that being said, I have experienced a lot of frustrations on Jack the Bus, um, mostly towards the Dragon Ball side of things, because if you're not familiar, I'm doing the playing Dragon Ball Z Kakarot without watching Dragon Ball. And that series has been a huge success, similar success to the Attack on Titan game series that I absolutely love. Um, it's gotten to the point where if I, if I go a little bit without posting Kakarot and I post anything else, any other video, even if I put my heart and soul into it, uh, people question why it isn't Kakarot. And I get it. Like uh, some people subscribe to a channel for one thing, one series. It is what it is. Um, I've let that take a bit of a toll on me this year. And I know a lot of you are going to just be like, Jack, just, just don't read the comments forehead, you know? And I... I should. I Honestly, that's true. I really shouldn't read a lot of the hate comments I get and respond to a lot of the hate comments I get, but it's it's it kind of eats you away to a certain extent. Um, and of course, the hate is much more in the minority, but it's much louder, unfortunately. It's just the way things go. Um, I think I've gotten better about not responding to hate comments and replying more to positive comments because so many of you guys show me so much love on every video every single day. Thank you for that. Um, but I have to be honest with myself and honest with you guys in terms of like how that affects me and how that feels. Um, because sometimes it does eat me up inside whenever I spend hours and hours and hours planning, recording, editing a video just for the, the notification squad, five notification squad comments saying, Jack, when's the next Kakarot? Jack, I don't want to see this. Jack, this is trash. Just post Kakarot. It, it can take a toll. It is what it is. Um, so I always just want to be open with you guys about that kind of stuff because I, I, I pride myself on being transparent with my community and I think I am most of the time with you guys for the most part. Um, of course I can't tell you every single little thing about my life, uh, but I, I think it's good to maintain that healthy communication with you guys. Um, now with that being said, let's talk about more of the positives, especially from this year. Uh, again, absolutely obliterated the goal on jack the bus been uploading like crazy over there been loving the content that i've been posting i think that's when i'm happiest is when i, I love the the content that i'm posting whether it's successful or not i it, it makes me so happy especially to see you guys happy we've caught up on boruto loving that show to death i i still i, I it has such a, a place in my heart now with also catching up on boruto we'll get to watch that weekly i get to talk about that with you guys every single week and we'll get to add these shows that you've been asking for forever. Hunter, Hunter, One Piece, all that good stuff. And I couldn't be more excited. So uh, with that being said, I want to outline a few more goals uh, for this year. Uh, I don't think I've outlined any goals for this year. But in general, I want to outline some goals for this year. And I'm not going to set any subscriber milestone goals this year. I think I will next year. But this year, this year, I literally just want to focus on content. I want to shoot for seven uploads a week on iShinobi, three uploads a week minimum on Jack the Bus, um, three streams a week, no matter what, and focusing on staying ahead and keeping myself straight in terms of working out, eating right, all that good stuff. Because whenever I take care of that side of things, it, it shows in the content, honestly. I can notice, maybe you guys don't notice the small differences like that, but like recording, I have more energy, stuff like that. It, it shows up in the content. So that being said, uh, I don't have much else to cover in the video aside from a big fat thank you to you guys. Again, this time last year, I had just moved out. I was still finding my way in terms of doing full-time content. And now I feel very established in my own way as a content creator. And I'm just glad you guys are here to join the ride. Again, we are just getting started. Of course, we watched through Shippuden and Boruto. Now we're getting started on Hunter x Hunter and One Piece 2 absolute monstrosities that we may be i mean we'll probably be towards the end of hunter x hunter this time next year but one piece we will not even be halfway through this time next year so i'll check back jack tw dear 2023 jack how's one piece are you liking it i hope so it's quite a commitment uh but that being said i love you guys thank you so so much for checking out this video uh if you stayed till until now uh, i know not many people are that interested in in my mindset in terms of youtube which that's okay it's just some extra stuff um uh, but i i just wanted to kind of check in with you guys we hit 1500 patrons on patreon thank you again if you want to check out the patreon for uncut stuff um, that's, I, I, I can't believe we hit 1500 people. Of course, it's going to drop every month when people, you know, we've catch up, caught up on Boruto. Some people want to watch Hunter x Hunter in One Piece, etc. 
thank you. I cannot say thank you enough times. I'm so blessed once again to be in this position that I am, and I'm having so, so much fun. I hope you guys believe me from the bottom of my heart that I, I, I literally can't see myself doing anything else. I really can't. I don't know what I would be doing if I wasn't doing YouTube because I love this to death. With that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing 2022, a new year. Uh, let's kill it. Honestly, let's kill it together. Drop your goals down below. Go encourage some other people down in the comments and uh, let's kill this. Love you guys a lot and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, peace.